post infinity and beyond. Okay, so window, animation editors, graph editor. Big scary window. Highlight all your joints. Okay, once highlighted, you'll see that I have this. It has a list of all the motion paths attached to all these joints. Okay, here's the nice part about this. We only have to do it once. We don't have to do it like we've been doing it one at a time. Once all these are highlighted, I hold shift, click and drag. I go to curves, I go to post infinity and cycle. Close this out and let's put it on frame 500. So I'm going to type in 500 here and hit play. If this works, it will keep looping well beyond 24. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nice. You're going to get this slight oscillation thing going. Again, it's one of those things that when you bend out a curve, when you uh, start manipulating it a little bit, when you're thinking about world up and object up, those are all things that are kind of very, very tricky to produce a tank tread. Those are the things that stop you from producing a tank tread very quickly. So, again, you have anything just throw it in YouTube underneath this video and say hey here's a here's an actual tutorial that makes that go away but I don't know like I sat down at it for a few hours thinking about it so here I'm going to show you something this will this will change everything uh, shift W on the keyboard will set a key and let's say I put it on frame 200 move it forward and shift W it okay so check this out very nice of course you could rotate these two you know the cylinders that's very easy to do just rotate them along with it these are only grouped together so technically I can put the rotates um, for these, just the same way as I rotated the the other ones. So here, we know that 24 is a true reflection of one oscillation of that, right? So if I go to 24 frames again to worry about the rotation of this, and in 24 frames, I take this and hit uh, let's see, I think it's shift R. Nope. Shift E. Yep, shift E. And in 24 frames, I rotate this negative 360 degrees. Shift E. There we go. Now that rotates. And guess what? You can now go like this. And I could say rotate that forever. Okay, so let's put it on train frame 500 and see what happens. And to see this, I would have to have my wireframe unshaded open. There it goes. So cool. <laughs> Alright, 
enjoy. Uh, of course, you could do the other one now that I showed you how to do that. And that ends the helper series for making an insane tank tread in your free time. Now that you do not have free time, you can thank me later. Enjoy.